AITA for disowning my wife's daughter after she chose her mom's affair partner over me. I am 35 years old now met my now, soon-to-be ex-wife, and she is 33 years old. I met her in my university 12 years ago. She already had kid when she was 19 but the dad left as soon as she started uni. We were dating for three months before I met her daughter Lisa. I remember seeing her family for the first time. I was nervous meeting her parents, but when I saw the little girl beside her mom I was confused. I asked her if that was her little sister or a cousin of hers and her answer shocked me. When she told me that that's her daughter I thought I misheard her or something. At first I wanted to dump her for hiding something so crucial for me but she kept on begging for me to stay and eventually I relented and soon enough I started to fall in love with her daughter and wanted to be her father figure. Our bond grew stronger over the years and in early 2019, before the pandemic hit, we got married. In late 2021 I adopted Lisa and in early 2022 my wife gave birth to our son Mark. After my son was born my wife made the choice to stay at home for the time being and I was completely fine with that. Everything was going perfectly until a few months ago. I started noticing my wife increasingly spending time with her friends. At the time, I didn't say anything since, in my mind. Being at home all day probably meant eating at her, and I didn't want to seem controlling. The thing that made me suspicious was her constant texting and going out of the room for calls. She never did that for anyone besides this one friend of hers. I asked her about it, but she gave me some vague answers about gossip. The moment that took it too far, though, was when I came home last week and saw her outside talking on the phone. This wasn't out of the ordinary. I remember seeing my son on the floor crying alone. I was pissed at my wife for just leaving him alone in the house, but when I went to pick him up and smelt the horrible stench coming from him, I was beyond furious. His diaper seemed like it hadn't been changed since that morning. I quickly changed his diaper and rushed outside with him in my arms. I was beyond pissed. I snatched her phone from her hand and bolted back inside. I locked my wife outside to have a talk with this friend of hers alone. I had my suspicions about who it really was, and when I heard a male voice calling out her name and asking who was there, I immediately knew what was going on. He ended the call as soon as he heard my voice. I then proceeded to lock the front door to make sure my wife couldn't enter the house at all, and proceeded to screenshot as much of their chat as I could, and then sent them to myself before deleting them on her phone. About five minutes later, she was still banging on the glass door leading to the backyard. I reluctantly opened it and was met with a smack in the face. Remember all of this is happening while I'm holding my toddler in my arms. As soon as she realized what she just did she apologized profusely, started crying and tried to hug me. I pushed her away and told her to meet me at the dining table. I told my daughter, to quickly take care of the baby so me and her mom could have a quick chat. I just kept it simple. I told her this was her only chance to even have a sliver of chance of getting me back. If she fucked up this talk it was over on the spot. No lies nothing. She kept on trying to apologize and to say it wasn't that serious. I reminded her that she not only fucked me over, she could also have easily done serious harm to our son by leaving him alone in the house like that. I then simply asked who, for how long? And did they fuck? She replied with her ex-boss Daniel. Six months and she didn't answer the last one. So I kept on reminding her that this was her last chance. She then just simply nodded. I then asked her if they used protection. To this she started crying and started begging me for forgiveness. She said she would block him then and there. Would never contact him again. I could fuck any woman I want from now on yada yada. I guess Lisa heard the commotion and came downstairs. I told her to go back up, but she just walked to my wife and asked her if I knew about Daniel. Up to this point I was calm but upon hearing this, I swear even I started tearing up. I asked Lisa if she knew all along and she said yes. At this point I'm full on crying and I asked her why she didn't tell me. She responded with, because unlike you, Daniel buys me the things I want without having to beg. I then asked her how she could possibly do this to her dad. She responded with the you're not my real dad crap. My wife screamed at her upon hearing what she said. At that point I couldn't bear any of this anymore. I just grabbed my son and got into the car. Me and my son are currently staying at my parents' house. I've basically been drinking myself to sleep every day. Thanks to the saint of a mother I have, my son is being taken care of right now. I've canceled my ex-daughter's private school tuitions, all her extracurricular activities, and I've contacted a divorce lawyer. 
He is going to serve my wife this Friday. My wife and Lisa have been blowing up my phone non-stop with apologies. I simply responded with, get a lawyer and tell that ungrateful thing of yours to start calling Daniel her dad. I'm disowning her, and then I blocked my wife. I didn't respond to Lisa, I just simply blocked her. I guess my wifey told our friends, what her and Lisa did, and now they have been texting me non-stop. They understand how I'm feel but believe I'm going too far by divorcing my wife without hearing her out. They also keep telling me that disowning Lisa is definitely going too far, and she's only a kid and didn't understand what she was doing. I just can't get over the things she told me. I've worked my ass off to give my wife and daughter luxuries. I could have only dreamed off as a kid and this is how I get paid back? Lisa, 13 years old is old enough to understand that hiding her mom's affair is bad and definitely purposely used those words to hurt me. But a part of me believes that there is still hope. A few family counseling sessions later, and we can go back to living the life I once considered a fairy tale. And beyond destroyed by this whole situation, a part of me just wants to see them burn in hell, but the other part of me believes there is still hope. Eve quit the alcohol. It was tough, but seeing how my life was basically falling apart due to my constant drinking really was a wake-up call for me. As someone kindly suggested, I asked my mom to throw out all the alcohol in her house. The first couple of days were tough with me being more depressed than ever, but I'm doing much better now. As for my wife, I've had a brief conversation with her, and I have halted all divorce proceedings for the time being. There is still a lot to navigate and a ton of logistics involved and my decision for divorce seemed a bit in the heat of the moment. I'm not saying that I'm going back to her. I'm just saying I need to reevaluate everything again. What she did was beyond hurtful and irresponsible. If I were to get back with her, she has to do a lot to make up for this mess. I have removed half of the money in our joint account and have stopped paying the lease on my wife's car. I asked her the following questions. Has she been in contact with Daniel since our falling out? She said she has completely cut off contact with her ex-boss and is willing to do anything to make our marriage work. Why did she go to him in the first place? She said, she honestly doesn't know. She met him at a get-together her old company held, and in her words, they just clicked. They started hanging out as friends and soon things grew out of hand, and she started bringing him over to the house when I was at work. Did she have feelings for him while they worked together? She said she found him cute, but left it at that. They never did anything, or said anything outside of work. I then started asking her questions about our daughter Lisa. Why did she bring Daniel around our daughter? Lisa once caught them making out on the couch, and when she threatened them to tell me they quickly shut her up with gifts, and a new phone etc. And soon enough Lisa started, actually started to like having Daniel around because of the gifts etc. Did she badmouth me to Lisa? To this she just went silent and started crying. I then pressed a bit more, and she finally blurted out that she started telling Lisa that Daniel was her bio dad. In GL after this I myself started crying and just hung up. I did see a change in my daughter around the same time, but I just chalked it up to her being a teenager, but hearing this just broke my heart even more. I also want to thank you guys for telling me that it wasn't right to put all the blame on my 13-year-old daughter. I wasn't thinking straight at the same, and when I started sobering up I did sort of realize the mistake I made. I have unblocked my daughter and have been texting with her since yesterday. She has apologized to me and it seems like my wife, in desperation to get me back, has confessed the truth to my daughter. My daughter told me that she has stopped talking with her mother since she confessed. I apologized to her for the comments I made about disowning her and we have planned to meet up tomorrow at the local park.